Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and I'm in, I'm in Barcelona right now. We have a lot of videos planned for the next two weeks. Yeah, I'm talking a daily video every day for like the next 17 days, hopefully. Something around that, maybe 15, depends how many videos we get to film, really. Uh, but it's gonna be at least two weeks of daily content. It's gonna be mad. I figured we'd start this off with a, with a banger and we're gonna go buy an entire club's menu. So we're literally gonna go there, say I want a gram of everything, and we're gonna try out literally everything that they have on their menu. So it's gonna be sick, and there's crazy, crazy videos planned for this week. And like, I'm only out here for a week, but we're filming all of this stuff. It's gonna be crazy. And just think, this is what we're starting it off with. It's gonna get mad. So yeah, I, will, um, I guess we're gonna go Club 67. Let's get it. We're getting out some cash from the cash machine. Cause we're gonna buy this entire menu, bro. We need like 600 euros, I think. Cause what, like, wait, let me just do the maths on my phone. Let's say average it out that like, most of the Spanish weed will probably have average out to like 14 euros a gram. And let's say there's, I don't know, let's be like, overestimate, let's overestimate and let's say there's 30 grams on the menu, like 30 different strains on the menu. That would cost 420 euros. But then there's also Cali. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna get any hash. I think just flour, so. Um, but yeah, it should be around 500 euros, so. Um, it's gonna be fun. Sweet, we're here at Club 67. This is probably one of my favorite clubs in Barca, just because it, it's just such a nice vibe. They've got an amazing menu. The quality of the bud here is always like proper, proper nice. Like even if it's not like a flavor that's for me, it's always sort of, you know, guaranteed to be you know, a nice smoke. So um, if we have a look at this menu up here, um, it's quite big. I think the plan is we're gonna get a gram of everything, if that's all right. Yeah. Sweet, so yeah, I think we're literally gonna get a gram of all of the ones on this shelf and then all of the ones on that shelf. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> I'm very excited. This is probably gonna take a little while, so <laughs> once it's all done, <laughs> we'll show you what it's like and we'll show you how much it costs. We got a gram of everything, as you can see here. Uh, right, come close, come close. Have a little, a little gander. All right, there's uh, a lot of stuff here. So we got exotic Kush, orange cookies, gelato 41, watermelon, bubba Kush, glue trap, ice cream cake, critical Bilbo, forbidden fruit, Girl Scout cookie, 24K, purple punch cross do, do, -si -do animal glue, sour diesel back cross two, uh, rainbow runts, rainbow mints, Sunday driver, slower cane, peanut butter breath? Or, punch breath. Oh, punch breath, okay. Ice cream cake, we got gelato 33, hardcore OG, hardcore OG, I like that one. Uh, Sherblato, uh, mimosa, and straw, straw, straw I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, so we're gonna find out what this came to. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 strings, gang. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to come back here because if we're inside the club filming, you know, I don't want to have to be the person to tell them not to have music and stuff while we're filming. It's just, you know, it's not really the vibes when, you know, they're cannabis social clubs. It's supposed to be a social club, you know? So uh, we're back and we have this absolutely wonderful selection. I got 25 different grams and it came out to 359 euros, which is, Pretty good actually, like considering I was thinking that the strains would average out to about like 14, 15 a gram because we had Cali in there as well, but uh, the Cali was like 20 euros a gram. And it, like, say if, you, if you're in Amsterdam and you saw Cali for 20 euros a gram, you'd be like, it's fake. <laughs> but this is definitely, definitely real. So you can see how many are here. I'm gonna go from the cheapest to the most expensive. So these ones were all seven or eight euros a gram. Then these ones are all 10 euros a gram. And then these ones are all 12. I think that one was 13. And then these ones are all 15. And then these ones were all 20. So first we have some critical Bilbo. Is that is that is it actually called Bilbo? Is that, is that, is that what, I always find it so weird when I say that strain because I'm like, am I, is that like 
a Spanish thing. Like, am I saying that right? But right, that is what it's looking like. It's it's all right. It's kind of frosty. It doesn't look bad or anything for seven euros a gram. I mean, you can't really complain too much. So I forgot to say, we are going to try all of these as well. Uh, but I mean, we're going to have a look at them first, then roll them up then uh, have a little smoke. But that is the first one. Uh, we got this one, which I think was the exotic Kush. Smells kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it smells kind of gassy. Like it smells how a Kush should smell, like no lie. It doesn't look crazy or anything. It kind of just looks like standard bud, but for again, seven euros a gram, you can't really, uh, you can't really go wrong with that. We got the Bubba Kush. This wasn't actually on the menu. I don't actually know how much this was, but I'm kind of assuming it's one of them ones that would have been in uh, like the cheaper side of things. Uh, that's what it's looking like. It's really frosty, actually. The nugs are a little bit airy. All right, next we've got the orange cookies. I've only got some smaller nugs of this one. I'm not the biggest fan of orange strains in general. Kind of don't really like them. It looks pretty good for the price. I mean, it's, I think this one was 10 euros a gram. Pea breath. I know this isn't peanut butter breath. It's punch breath. Punch breath, ah, oh my God, okay. <laughs> Maybe a bit earthy, has a bit of a gas to it as well. Looks really fucking nice. Oh, look at that. That's looking proper nice. One of the 10 euro gram ones. Oh my God. Next up, some Sherblato. Uh, I really like Sherblato. Bruv, smell this compared to the Sherblato that you got. <laughs> yeah, that's way nice. <laughs> oh. Looking very, very nice. Very uh, purpley as well on the underneath. Looking really, really dang. Uh, next up, Girl Scout cookies. Shit, I love Girl Scout cookies. I have a really bad experience with getting Girl Scout cookies when I go to like foreign countries. It's usually not anything like the Girl Scout cookies that I know and love. That smells pretty proper. Wow, okay. That is actually pretty stunning. This is 10 euros a gram still. We're still in the 10 euros a gram section. Okay, straw banana. Very earthy, very, very earthy, this one. That is my type of fucking smell. What, what was this one again? Straw banana? Bro, I usually hate strains like that. That smells dang. Look at that as well. Fucking hell. All right, gelato 41. Ooh, gelato 41 from here. Oh, that's smelling proper gelato-y. If you look at that, you can tell that that is a 41, like a hundred percent, like that is a 41. Ice cream cake, holy fuck, that smells really nice. The nugs look pretty bad, but I've only got kind of small nugs. Um, you know, that's what it's looking like. It's got, not got anything to show off for this one, but smells really, really good, like gassy. Watermelon, I think this was watermelon something. Watermelon OG maybe? Or again, this is another one where I haven't got the biggest nug to show to you. It's looking all right. But now we're getting into the uh, 12 euros a gram. Shit, I forgot to say the ice cream cake was 12 euro gram one. The watermelon is 12 euro gram one. But all the ones before that are 10 euros. Then we got 24K. Another 12 euros a gram. Oh, that. It smells like 24K. That is not my type of flavor at all. Um, that's probably one that I'm gonna be giving to Marty. <laughs> glue trap. Smelling pretty gluey. I think this is one I'm gonna have to hold to the camera because it's not in the, the right sort of place to, to show it to you, but it's looking very, very nice. This is the problem with getting grams, yeah? If there's a nug, which is like, you know, 1.1 grams, you're gonna have to snap like a bit off it to make it less than a gram or to make it to a gram. Uh, oh, Hardcore OG. This is one of my favorite flavors of all time. Like I love Hardcore OG. Smelling nice. Maybe not smelling quite as strong as some of the Hardcore OG that I usually smoke, but it's looking really, really frosty. Really looking, that is looking fucking nice. I really hope that smoke's banging. Holy shit. Purple Punch Cross Dosey Dome. Don't know why they, this is just the cross and not, it doesn't have a name, you know? Usually people name a strain. That smells really nice. Doesn't smell anything like Purple Punch. I mean, Purple Punch doesn't really have too much of a smell, to be honest. At least most of the Purple Punch I've had hasn't been very good. Oh, looking fucking fire. So this one was 13 euros. Um, all the ones we had before that were 12 and the 10 and the seven. And now we're going into the 15 euros a gram category. 15 euros a gram. People, would you pay 15 euros a gram? Uh, <laughs> all right, we got Banana Runts. 
Oh, that does smell really, really, really fucking nice. Which nug am I going to show to you here? Well, I'll show you this one. Oh, holy fuck. Wow. That is just crazy. It's crazy because when you go to a lot of stores, when you get into the 15 euros a gram category, it doesn't really like, you know, it doesn't live up to the prices. It's just, you know, they got charged a lot for it most of the time. Uh, <laughs> and I just realized in saying that, the forbidden fruit is in the 15. Oh my God, if I smoked this, I would throw up. Like even if I was just in a room with somebody smoking this, like the smell of it would make me feel mad sick. That's what it's looking like. Um, proper mad looking crazy colors and stuff oh god i, I don't want to smell that again <laughs> animal glue is next up 15 a gram still oh oh that's smelling dang that looks crazy that looks like a proper og mad have a little look at that yeah that is looking absolutely insane that smells so good as well proper gluey oh this this one's one of my favorites i actually did get some of this earlier um and so i know this one's fucking banging <laughs> this is the rainbow mints just look at this yeah and like it's basically blue like it's amazing that's stunning next up sour diesel back cross two this is the last of the 15 on the gram oh that's a diesel smell that i haven't had for ages all right, have a check, have a check. I mean, this one, it's, it's looking all right. It's dank, it's kind of frosty, but it, it's not, this is probably the worst looking one out of the 15 a gram, but we'll see whether the smoke uh, holds up. We're getting into the Cali territory. We've got some ice cream cake Cali. So they had some ice cream cake Spanish on the menu. And then now we have some Cali one. Wow. That smells crazy. Can I get this to stay? on here that is wild i'm blown away with how that looks for 20 a gram as well on the cali like that's actually quite a good price like i know it's expensive as fuck but <laughs> for cali that's fucking amazing like this uh, the main thing is whether the smoke holds up really the next one july 33 smelt this in the store oh it smells really really fucking good looks how 33 should look really 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 fucking nice holy fuck mimosa next up i fucking hate mimosa <laughs> this will be another one for the boys Ugh. Uh, oh my god i can't deal with bud that smells like this i can't i can't deal with that this is this is the mimosa this one is another one for the boys <laughs> for, the, for the boys sunday driver i've never had a good sunday driver before ever it smells all right, kind of gassy, kind of, I don't know how to explain the smell of that. It smells very strange. Like it's not really a strange, it's not really a smell that I'm used to, but that looks crazy. Looks dank. Finally, people, we have one more and it's the Slurricane. Okay. Mmm, that smells really nice, actually. I've had, I've, I have had a couple good Slurricanes before, but nothing ever like super crazy. That looks wild. Look at how frosty that's looking. That's like one of the frostiest snugs we've had so far. That is fucking absolutely nuts. This is gonna be the crazy part of this video. I'm gonna roll all of these up and <laughs> we're gonna try them all. I think the only ones I'm not gonna roll up is probably the Mimosa, the 24K and the Orange Cookies. Cause I don't like orange strains. So I've rolled all of these up and I'm very excited. I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'm probably gonna smoke the joint down to about here, just so I can have like a good test, see how it is, um, see how it tastes, see how it burns, try and see what the effects are like. But obviously by the end of this, I'm not really gonna be able to know what the effects are like on each individual one. It's gonna be it. like, you can do that up to a point, like maybe like five strains, but like after that, <laughs> it's a no-go. But after this, uh, I'm gonna pass it to the cameraman so you can have a bit of a smoke on it um, and then to the producer. So it's, yeah, it's gonna be pretty sick. So it's not completely wasted. Then we're gonna probably save like half the J for when we can't be bothered to roll. So just so you know, it's not like, you know, me wasting a J when I only smoke like a bit of it. Cause we do have to get through all of these in this video, which is gonna be 
tough. This is the one that I hate saying the name of, Critical Bilbo. What the fuck name is that, man? This is a, uh, uh, oh yeah, shit. So the way I've organized these is this bottom row is uh, the under 10 euro section. Then I've got the 10 euro section. Then I've got the 12 euro section. I've got the 13 euro section. I've got the 15 euro section and I've got the 20. So that's the uh, situation. We're starting it off with the small ones. And uh, they did say that this one was good. They said that this one for the price was was good, I think. Yeah, the taste on this one isn't really for me, but it's not bad by any means. Especially when you consider the price. For, for the money, it's burning pretty good. It, it, tastes, it tastes like what you would imagine standard to be like out here, you know? I think we're gonna go for this next one. The I think this is Exotic Kush? Was it Exotic Kush? When I opened the bag of this one, it smelled fucking amazing. So I'm gonna uh, see what this is like. This is another seven or eight euro one. It might be eight, but... Oh! I thought it was gonna be really bad. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this one was gonna be pretty bad, but I just, like that last toke on it actually tasted really decent. Yeah, it's seven euros a gram. So something that's seven euros a gram, like that's, that's actually really good. Look, have a little look at this one up close. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What is that one? The Exotic Kush, seven euros. Not bad. Again, if I was on a budget and I just needed some bud, and I also wanted it to taste good and burn clean like this. You wouldn't have any issues with it. Like, I wouldn't have any issues with that. That's fucking sick. Bubba Kush is up next. I'm pretty sure this was a cheap one. It wasn't on the menu, but like most Bubba Kush out here is, is pretty cheap. Like it's a pretty common strain to find out here. Oh, that tasted quite nice actually. Like that tasted really nice. Uh, that didn't taste as nice as what I thought it was going to taste on the second pull. That definitely tasted worse than it did on the first one. I just realized I haven't been giving these a rating out of 10. Like 10 being like the most banging of banging and zero being like totally dead that I wouldn't smoke it. I put the Critical Bilbo at like a four. I put the Exotic Kush at like a five. Um, I'd put this Bubba Kush. I don't think it's quite as good as that Exotic Kush. Definitely better than the Critical Bilbo. Um, smoking pretty clean as well. So it's not as clean as it could possibly be, but it's pretty fucking clean for what it is. And being one of the cheaper ones, it's got a really nice oil ring on it as well already. Decent. I'd, I'd give this one like a 4.5 as well, you know? Well, that is the end of the cheapest ones. I mean, that's kind of what you would expect from getting the cheaper ones. Like, there's a reason why there are different prices on the menu. <laughs> Most of the time, the price does represent the quality. So I'm hoping that these next ones are gonna get above like five out of 10 on the scores. That's kind of what I'm hoping. I uh, hope Club 67 doing it nice up in here. What would you rather me start with, Finn? Sherblato or Ice Cream King? Sherblato. Sherblato? Had the ice cream cake earlier. Oh yeah, shit. Okay, okay. Sherblato, the one. Finn's request. That one was banging, by the way. The, 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 the for the Bubba Kush? Yeah. You Bubba. rated it more than the, the yeah. exotic? Uh, exotic. I, I, I think I the exotic think was better. It was better. as good as the exotic, but it was not. So you agree with my scores? The four, four for the Critical Bilbo, yeah. five for the exotic, and then 4.5 for the Bubba yeah. Kush, yeah? yeah? Sick, sick. I'm gassed that we're all on the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sherblato, let's hope and pray. <laughs> this one definitely tastes better than the other one. Oh, this is still pretty clean. Like, it's not, it's not as clean as what it could be. But still pretty clean, like on a white ash out of 10, I'd give it like 6.5. I'd probably give this one like a 5.5. What are you saying on that? Do you reckon you agree with me on that? I think I actually prefer the, the lower ones. You prefer the lower ones? Oh shit, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting events. Girl Scout cookies is up next. This is one of my favorite strains. Um, I love some good Girl Scout cookies. I really hope this is smoking clean. The thing I also assume a lot of the time when it comes to the prices at shops is that I'm assuming a lot of the ones at the same price are probably from the same people, like the same growers. Um, so I'm assuming a lot of them are gonna be pretty similar when we go into certain categories, but I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll have, to, we'll have to kind of see. This one looks like it's gonna burn really clean. <laughs> oh, this one has a really nice taste to it. It doesn't have that full cookies flavor, 
that you would kind of expect. Like if you were American and you smoked a lot of Girl Scout cookies, this probably wouldn't be the flavor that you expect. But I've had quite a few Girl Scout cookies that do taste like this. It's almost more on like the creamy side of things. It's definitely burning the cleanest out of all of the ones that we tried so far as well. Mmm. And this is the 10 euro section. I don't know if I said 12 before. This is the 10 euro section. This is the 10 euro section right here. If I had to rate that one, I'd probably give it like a six. Oh, the straw banana. This is the one that I said doesn't smell anything like strawberry or banana, but it smelled really nice. It smelled like my type of flavor. Like this was, this was looking like it was gonna be dang. Or smelling like it was gonna be dang. It was, it was, it was pretty, like, this is a pretty hype one, I must say. Oh. I do not like the taste of that. <laughs> that is not for me. I will have a couple more tanks on here, but that is not my type of flavor. That is not for me. Have a little look at how it's burning. It's burning pretty good, to be honest. Like, it's not like it's, you know, black ash, and that's why I taste some bad or something. That's just not a flavor for me <laughs> at all. I want to see your reaction when you taste that. I don't think that's going to be for you either. Oh, I know you mean being piney. Yeah, you see what I mean about it being piney? It tastes like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> not every flavour is for everyone, in it. Finn saying he fucking likes that one. <laughs> I would not want to smoke that. Fuck that. I'd give that one a six. You give it a six? Yeah. Okay, sweet, a six. That's good for the tens, you know. Ten, that's pretty good for it. Was that 10 pounds? Yeah, 10, 10 a gram. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we've got the Gelato 41. Um, we are gonna try and get through some of these a bit quicker. <laughs> so we've been filming this for a very, very long time. <laughs> As you can tell by the background behind me. Yeah, this 41 is tasting pretty decent. It tastes like Gelato 41. It's not burning like 100% the best still. It's burning pretty good, like, I'm, I mean, we can get a little close-up of how it's burning. It's burning pretty fucking nice. I'm just a little bit pedantic with, like, how much you want it to burn. Like, you know, I always know it could be that little bit better. So I'm, I'm being very strict here. Very, very, very strict. But, um, it's burning fucking better than a lot of Cali 41 for 10 euros a gram. Like, I've seen some Cali 41 burn awful. And that tastes pretty decent. Creamy. Nice. Mmm. Probably, I don't know if it's quite reaching like seven territory, but this is definitely better than any of the others, I think, 100%. Like, this has quite a nice taste to it. She actually said this was not worth looking at when I asked about it. Is it? Yeah. Damn. I actually was going to get this, and then she was like, no, 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 don't even bother looking at it. Okay, okay, so look, if that's what they're saying about that one, they're very honest about like, you know, which drains are the best ones, and obviously the more expensive ones are going to be the best ones, so if that's how it's going right now with the 41, I'm excited to try some of these other ones and see how they go. Um, oh yeah, I, I like that. That's good. Yeah. That's like a 6, 7. Yeah, that's so I bought 6.5, which is a pretty good score. Alright, next up we've got this Punch Breath. Oh. That's burning really nice. Like, you know one of them ones where you just you blow on the end of it and it starts coming up? Everything starts coming up Millhouse and that. What's this on the punch breath? The punch breath. This is banging. This is fucking banging, bruv. What the fuck? This is the first purple punch cross of anything that I think I've ever really liked. Have a little look at how this one's burning especially compared to a lot of the other ones. This is still 10 euro a gram territory. This is still the 10 euro a gram. That is really nice. I'd give this one like a nine. Like, really? yeah, this is really good. Like, it would be a 10 if it had a bit more of a like gassy taste to it, like, or just a bit more taste in general, but like, for the taste that it's there, plus the burn, it was really nice looking as well, like remembering it, so, mm. This one is the ice cream cake. This is the, 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 oh, this is the Spanish ice cream cake because there's a Cali ice cream cake and there's a Spanish ice cream cake. This actually grinded out to more than the, the ice cream cake did. Yeah, this ice cream cake's doing all right. I don't know if you can see this. It's not burning like quite as good as what it could be. Like some parts burning better than others. Um, I probably, I, it's definitely not as good as that uh, punch breath. So I'm probably going to give this one like 
I'll probably put this on the level of like six, to be honest. Next up, we got watermelon. What the fuck was, wa what was it? It was watermelon something, right? Uh, watermelon cross Skittles. And we are, yeah, we're in 12 euros a gram category now. This is 12 euros on the gram. All right, is it gonna up the level? Oh, this is very different. Very different to a lot of the other ones. I mean, maybe it's more on that piney side of things. This is the first one that we've had, which isn't really burning that good. Like there are, there are some bits in it where it's burning all right. The taste isn't really the best. I would say this is probably one of the worst ones that we've tried so far. I'd probably put it in like the four category. Like if it was a cheaper one, like if it wasn't one of the 12 euro ones, if it was one of like the seven euro ones, it would probably be decent. I'd probably give it a higher score, but. Next up we have the glue trap. Oh, this one's smoking really nice and clean. The flavor isn't like crazy full. I would probably rate this a lot more if it was one of the 10 euro ones, but it is burning super, super nice and clean. It really doesn't taste bad. If I didn't know what the price was, I'd probably give it like a seven. Um, because I know what the price is, I'd probably give it like a 6.5. Oh, we have the last of the 12 euros. Next up, we have the Hardcore OG, which is 12 euros a gram. And uh, I love this strain, but it doesn't really smell like how I know Hardcore to smell, so it's definitely like a Spanish genetic. It wasn't tasting the greatest. But that last toque that I took tasted actually like really, really nice. Yeah, this one's all right. It's definitely not the Hardcore OG that I know and love, which I think puts it off for me. Like, it's smoking pretty good. Like, it's not bad at all. Like, it's, it's not really bitty. Could be a little bit better, like if you know crazy white ash and stuff, but it's smoking really nice and clean actually. But it doesn't taste like that, that hardcore that I know and love personally. What would you rate this sort of taste? Quite like that. You quite like that? What would you what would you give it? Like a seven? Like a seven? Yeah, I was kind of thinking around six for myself, so that makes that makes sense. We're going up in price. Sorry, I'm getting very stoned as we go along as well. So I'm I'm slowly getting quieter and I'm chilling out you know but we've got to go and try the purple punch cross dosi dough they love their purple punch at this place oh i don't know if i'm a fan of that one it's not like bad but like compared to the other ones compared to all them other ones that we just had and some of them nice ones yeah this it's just a bit bland it's a bit bland probably gonna have to dip into the higher categories which is the 15 euro category so we're gonna start off with the rainbow runts. Right, this tastes kind of like the um, but on the runts that we get from Tin Man Farms. It's smoking clean. I don't know if I would like Bud personally that was smoking like this for 15 euros. I mean, it's still pretty fucking clean. Like a lot of people are probably gonna yell at me in the comments being like, bro, <laughs> like that's like cleaner than any Bud I'd ever get. The taste is actually really good. Like it tastes really good for the way it's smoking. Like usually you don't really get a taste like this if, a, if it's sort of burning like this. I mean, it is still burning really clean, so. About seven, 7.5, yeah. Yeah, yeah, same. All right, next up, animal glue. Animal glue. Mm. Yeah, the taste is really nice on this one. Yeah, it's smoking pretty decent. I'd probably give this one like an eight. I think this is the first eight. It's not quite like that nine. It'd probably be at a nine if it was smoking a bit cleaner because then the taste would probably come through a bit more. But this is this is really good. This is really strong as well. I mean, I'm proper lit by this point, but I can tell that this one's fucking proper strong. I'm not going to lie, yeah? <laughs> I've already smoked this rainbow mints. And I know it's so banging. <laughs> I got more of it. <laughs> this should be where the level is stepped up. This is where I'm hoping the level from here, it's all just gonna be like the dankest of dank. I'm kind of speechless on this one. This is actually fucking so nice. Like I said it off camera, yeah, and I'll say it again on camera. This is the nicest Spanish flower I've ever smoked in my whole life. I've come here like probably eight times, probably spent about four months here in total like, of my life and this is, Definitely the best Spanish flower by far that I've ever had. The cleanest to clean, tasting fucking amazing. Fucking banging, well that's 10 out of 10, by the way. On a, on a scale, that is 10 out of fucking 10. <sighs> Sour Diesel back cross two, 15 euros. It's the end of the 15 euro section. Oh shit, that tastes nice. I haven't tasted Sour Diesel like this for like four years. I've like forgotten what Sour Diesel should taste like. Again, this is another one that's well, well worth being in this fucking 15 slot. Holy fuck. This is crazy. 
This is straight up like some of the best Spanish bud that I've ever smoked. Like them last two, definitely some of the best Spanish bud I ever smoked. All right, we're gonna move on to the Cali. Four left. Oh my goodness. Ice cream cake. I'm fucking stoned at this point, by the way. This is looking like it's gonna smoke fucking dank. So this is the 20 euros a gram section. And for Cali, that's actually a pretty fucking good price. That's the best price I've ever seen in Spain ever. Especially for like the JIT Cali. That's absolutely fucked. <laughs> this is some of the best ice cream cake that I've ever smoked. <laughs> I've, I've only ever smoked one ice cream cake from Cali that smelled like this. This is fucking beautiful. The woman said that she preferred the Spanish version. Nah, she's fucked in the head. <laughs> she's absolutely fucked in the head. No, nah, she must have smoked the wrong one. <laughs> she must have smoked the wrong one. She must have, must have thought it was the wrong one. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> and by the way, that sour diesel, 10 out of 10. That ice cream cake, 10 out of 10. This July 33 is another one that as soon as it blew on it, lit up super quick. Burning cleanest to clean. Wow. It's definitely the nicest gelato that I've had on this trip. I don't think it's the nicest gelato I've had in Spain though. For what this is and being a Cali gelato, it's smoking super clean, it's fucking tasting really dang. It's, it's really fucking good. I would give this one like a 9.5. I don't think it's quite on that 10, 10 level. Maybe even a nine, actually. I think a nine's a good one for this. Sunday driver. I've never had a good Sunday driver ever in my whole life. Never had one that smokes clean. <laughs> never had one that tastes nice. So maybe this will be a change. That tastes really fucking nice. That's actually, that's actually the first good Sunday driver I think I've ever had. Could be smoking a bit cleaner, but I smoke him fucking clean. Like, it's not too many complaints. Have a little look. I think it's tasting quite decent. It's burning pretty good. Hmm. I think this one will probably be like the same as July. I'll probably give it like a nine. All right, we're on to the last fucking one. Slower cane. That's tasting really good. Really clean as well. Super, super clean. It's not like necessarily my type of turp profile, but it's something that I would smoke during like a nice sunny day. Would be really, really nice. And we just went through a whole coffee shop's menu. Nothing was black ash. There were some with a bit of specs, some that could have been burning a bit better, but literally nothing was black ash. Because they have quality control. <laughs> like that's actually fucking crazy. Big up to Club 67 for letting us come by, film this video, check out all their stuff. We just smoked all of these. <laughs> and I'm very lit. We managed to get a gram of everything on the menu. There's gonna be some crazy videos coming out in the next two weeks. I'm literally uploading every day. If you've seen this, it's gonna be another video tomorrow and the day after and the day after that with the craziest content that you will ever see. So they're not all gonna be as long as this. This is probably gonna be the longest one. I hope it's gonna be the longest one. I'm editing all of this, so. <laughs> Safe one, guys, for coming. Make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button down here. Like, if you haven't done that already, I, I don't know what you're doing because I'm not gonna be in your recommended forever. And let me know in the comments down below which one of these you would have wanted to try the most. Like, which one would you have got the most of? And uh, yeah, big up to the goods as well for this trip because, uh, you know, the goods are what make the world go round right now, at least for me. <laughs> so, big up to the goods and, uh, See you tomorrow. Do you back to the for bag on it progress? No stress. Live in the moment. I might move to the hostess. Caddy pack in my lead back, shit potent. Oh shit. Put a motion on the I'm posted. Save me for myself. I smoke heavy on the hill. And I keep it by my belt. Guess I'm never by myself. I put V 